Chartwell is such a special place because it's where the Churchill family came and it was their home. It wasn't their great place for entertaining, it was their family home and you can go around the house and see where they spent time together. It is the home of one of the greatest figures in history. What makes Chartwell special is that it offers people a look at Winston Churchill they wouldn't get otherwise. They might know that he was a great wartime leader, but they might not know that he was a wonderful painter and a family man and a very loving husband. Uh, he created uh, Chartwell, um, probably the greatest uh, living Britain. This was all a complete overgrown shrubbery when they took it over and Lady Churchill had always wanted a garden. They created her rose garden, they created the kitchen garden. So Winston created all the lakes and ponds, perhaps inspired by his grandfather's home of Blenheim Palace. And they really adapted and changed this and made it their own. And it's, and it's just a magical place for everyone to enjoy. Chartwell is one of the oldest surviving wildlife gardens in existence. Uh, Churchill was a pioneer wildlife gardener and we just walked through a butterfly garden. It's quite, quite, quite marvellous. It is the home that he developed and loved and where his inspiration is to be found at times of difficulty. But this was his home. This was his family home for 40 years and uh, he brought up his family here uh, and I think part of him still here. And to me, therefore, Charpel is Churchill and almost begins and ends there. So that's why Chartwell is special. <laughs>